<laughs> on, uh, March, on March 21st, 2018, the Office of Strategic Services, or OSS, received a Congressional Gold Medal, Congress's highest civilian honor. You can see it here to my left. The OSS was the World War II predecessor to the CIA, the U.S. Special Operations Command, and the State Department's Bureau of Intelligence and Research. Julia Child, America's French chef, served in the OSS, and French Prime Minister Jacques Chabin Delma received the William J. Donovan Award, which is named in honor of the OSS's founder. The OSS worked closely with the French resistance before, during, and after D-Day. A joint British-French-American operation was undertaken before D-Day to gather intelligence. It was codenamed Sussex. On the morning of June 6, 1944, the first Jedburgh team jumped into France. It was codenamed Team Hugh, and it was followed by other Jedburgh teams, including two missions codenamed Union that were led by the legendary Marine Colonel Peter Ortiz. The OSS sent a number of its operational groups behind enemy lines, too. Before the invasion of southern France, the OSS mounted an operation, codenamed Penny Farthing, to gather intelligence that would be critical to its success. Virginia Hall, the only civilian American woman to receive the Distinguished Service Cross during World War II, operated behind enemy lines in France. To escape the Nazis, she hiked out of the Pyrenees on a prosthetic leg, codenamed Cuthbert. And these code names are all inscribed on the OSS Congressional Gold Medal. The OSS and the French resistance were brothers and sisters in arms. General Eisenhower said, quote, without their great assistance, the liberation of France and the defeat of the enemy in Western Europe would have consumed a much longer time and meant greater losses to ourselves. He said they were equivalent to 15 combat divisions. On behalf of the OSS Society, it's my honor to present a replica of the OSS Congressional Gold Medal to the people of France who were and will always be our brothers and sisters in arms. Thank you very much.